Good morning, I'm Bridget Payne and I'm the Director of Salmon Enhancement here in DFO Pacific Region. I'm very honoured to be here in the traditional territories of the Kwagulut people and that they have extended such a warm welcome to this event. I've been enjoying this three-day SEP community workshop in Port Hardy, BC. It, this event wouldn't have been possible without the tireless efforts of so many people. I'd like to first thank the organizing committee. Uh, it's been uh, an incredible feat of organization. We have such a dedicated uh, planning committee, uh, the leadership of the uh, North Vancouver Island Salmon and Enhanced Association has been critical to the success of this project, but the whole organizing team has just done so much. The Pacific Stream Keepers has shown great leadership and support this, uh, for this event as they always do. This event is all about the volunteers and the efforts that they make to uh, come out for this event, but also what they do each and every day to support Pacific Salmon uh, and to make sure that we have a vibrant future for this precious resource. Uh, I'd like to thank as well my staff and, and the folks who are here trying to make the event uh, a success as well as all the folks behind the scenes who have been working hard to, to get us here and make sure that we have an excellent event. Uh, thank you everybody. Uh, Geek Sala. As a member of the planning team, um, how do you feel now that the weekend has come to, this part has come to? It's pretty exciting. The, we brought everybody back together since 91. Missed a lot of those old fo folks' faces. Uh, we missed a lot of people that have passed away since then. Uh, but I think it was a huge success. I think that everybody walked away with a very uh, pleasing, happy, feeling about uh, doing it, getting together. Did you get a chance to interact and chat with some of the stewards from other areas? I did. Um, uh, far away is Terrace. Uh, there's some great young people coming now. Unbelievable, but, uh, but that, and that's good to see. So with that theme of, you know, honoring the past, building the future, were you able to see that play out in the room? I think so, yes. We, we When we originally talked about it and said, what what should our theme be? Because, of course, people were asking what's the, what you think the theme was. And, and uh, so we came up with it and uh, out with the old and in with the new. And so then we eventually come up with honoring the past. Would you be confident and comfortable in saying to another group of people this was worth putting on, this was worth spending oh, a year of time? Yeah, for sure. It's it's a lot of hard work. If they're going to get started, and we had a great jump on it, right? Uh, we started in September. But, uh, boy, uh, we took the thought that, oh, that's a long way away, right? And so we didn't push it until we started thinking, Jesus, December, holy moly, we haven't got, there's a bunch of boxes we haven't checked off. Uh, so if I've got any advice to anybody, if you get a chance to start in September, do it. And so that all the boxes are checked off by, uh, by December, and, uh, and, and you'll feel a lot better. As a part of the planning community, I felt that the SEP community workshop was absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful, we got to meet um, people we met on the phone. We've got to have a lot of camaraderie and learn other, uh, all of our different ideas on how to raise good, healthy fish and salmon to put back in love. We've got new techniques that nobody's heard about. People, and it's, and working with the DFO staff, it was phenomenal. I just watched them just keep their, their system going or whatever they've got, they got a system. And it was really cool to watch that. And uh, and then to watch all of us just keep going. It's, it was a four day long, big event, you know, and it's a lot of work, but it was beautiful. It was fun. Um, I, I totally enjoyed it, even though I didn't even get to participate in the workshops. I totally enjoyed it. Just watching everybody coming up going, I didn't know that that was invented yet, or I didn't know that we could do that or so yeah it was wonderful we had a ball i think any community should do this it it what it does is it actually educates the community it does some communities they sit out you know they've never so we've met some people still that's never been to the quasi hatch they go what do you mean it's like it's like a half a kilometer away you know it's salmon you know get get with the program so i think if i think that every community 
even no matter how big or small, should get communicated. I have a friend who said, if you're part of the problem, you should be part of the solution. And we are all a part of the solution this weekend. It was beautiful. So as a member of the group for the planning team for the 2023 SEP community workshop, it was really great the group had a chance to come together and during the weekend it just was not about one group or the other group. It was a cohesive unit and it just worked. Everything came together and it was our offer. And everybody had a good time and it was a lot of great community workshop to be involved with. This was a fantastic workshop for a lot of reasons, but one of the most special things about it was seeing people that I haven't seen forever, including one of our original, I think probably our second um, community advisor back in the early 80s, Brian Allen, and then Gary Taconia as well. Uh, it was absolutely lovely to reconnect with them. And you know, we, we've really learned a lot at this workshop. I loved it. I love the beach scene. We found a green crab, a vase of green crab. That was concerning and interesting. I had not seen one of those before. We, we just learned so many things. Like every, every single workshop uh, that we went to um, was, was positive and talking to people who came out of different sessions, same thing, enthusiasm all around and so welcoming and um, beautifully organized by DFO um, and Stream Keepers. A wonderful, wonderful event in so many ways. And we love the inflatable salmon. I want to give my absolute praise to the organizers and uh, also to the scientists and amateurs who made presentations at this SEP conference. I was amazed that uh, there's so much energy being put into a one day or two day event that so many people will uh, come to and, and gather information from and take home wonderful ideas and, and new thoughts about how to improve their uh, salmon enhancement project or how to even start one now. And the age range was amazing. Uh, young people and even people bringing their children here uh, to see uh, other people who have been very successful at salmon enhancement. And I would uh, give a shout out to anybody who has been involved to make sure that you that spread the word about the next conference and get a lot more people, people coming out to enjoy, but also to learn. As part of the planning team, how do you feel about how the planning went and then how the session went and how things would be brighter for Sam when this is done? Well, I think that the planning was fantastic. The session went overall very well. Um, Everyone enjoyed the debate on whether or not salmon are important. Um, I was a little perturbed by Eeyore and Chicken Little because they didn't think I survi should survive. But really, I mean, honestly, I think I should have. But overall, it went well. So everyone enjoyed it. They got their selfie with me, Candy Salmon, which I'm not sure which salmon I am. I wish I could help you on that identification. <laughs> That's good. And do you think that another community should take on the SEP community workshop and plan for the next two years? Absolutely. Thank you, Bob.